Okay, good day students. Welcome to another session on international business. Today we are going to discuss incoterms. A very important topic related to uh, shipment. Right? Who basically incoterms is defining who is going to take the responsibility of the goods, right? Or you can say, if I should rephrase it, when is the responsibility of the goods is transferred from buyer or from seller to buyer right so this is a very important question because we all know that the distances are are big and there can be anything which can happen to the goods in between right during the transit right so there can be a lot of uh, issues that can arise between who is going to take the responsibility of the goods in case anything is going to happen with the goods right so in core terms is going to define who is going to take the responsibility and who is where is the responsibility is going to be shifted from seller to the buyer right so let's first look at what in core terms are in core terms are universally accepted terms of sale right it is as written it is universally accepted means whatever you are going to put Right, that is going to be considered as same wherever you are going to go. Right, so universally accepted terms of sale that specify how the buyer and seller share the cost. One thing is again share the cost and freight and insurance in the international transaction, and at which point the buyer takes the title of the goods. Like I was saying a, a, a while ago, that when, when is the responsibility going to shift from seller to the buyer? Right, so these are three four points where responsibility cost freight and insurance who is going to take the responsibility obviously the cost freight and insurance are going to be uh, paid maybe paid by the seller and later on they are being charged in the product cost from the buyer right but who is going to pay it? that so you have to clearly clarify and that is going to be done in Inco terms, right? So let's uh, look at uh, different inco terms, right? Some of them, uh, them might be new for you, some of them might be uh, known to you, right? So we are going to discuss all of them in detail, right? And they're going to be bifurcation between uh, standard transportation and transportation only related to sea shipments, right? So there are two different uh, categories. So both of them some of the terms uh, may differ right so that's why we have categorized them in two different categories one other modes which includes uh, land transport as well air transport as well while one is only restricted to the sea shipment because sea shipment is the major uh, trade uh, route for international uh, business right so we are going to discuss each of the term in the coming slides